Well, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, here to talk about denial as a form of idol worship. And it's going to be a little weird, but check this out. You ever get the school board calling you about your child beating somebody up or bullying somebody, stealing something, whatever the case may be? You know now that your child is a total hellion at home, that your child has no clue about showing respect to you or anyone else for that matter. But when they call you and tell you what your child has done, you want that child to love you so much. You dare not make that child angry. You dare not get on that child's bad side. You don't press too hard because you don't want to rock their little precious boat. So you go to school and you fuss at the teachers, you fuss at the principal, and you call every child a liar. Because your child has got golden wings and a beautiful, a beautiful, brilliant diamond halo. And their stuff just does not stink. Now does it? Yeah, it does. Oh yes, it does. And everybody else smells it but you. And you know why? Idol worship. You refuse to see your child for what they are. And if your child, you you ever hear the expression, call a spade a spade? Baby, if your child is a brat, call it what it is. In your own mind, if you don't want to say it out of your mouth. But be real. Be honest with yourself. And if you haven't done the job you were supposed to do with discipline, structure, and the right amount of attention, not overdoing it, then yeah, that might be a monster you created. So now you have to recreate, now don't you? We need some life lessons. You cannot afford to worship your child or your child will lord over so many other people's lives when they get a little bit of power in their hand, a little bit of authority, and they will make life a living hell for almost everybody they run across because you worshipped them too much to correct them. Hmm? Okay, I'm going to stop there. Because I think that needs a whole lot of thinking and pondering. Think on, my child. Think on.